You can really get this sucker going. Make your way through some snow. Okay, we're gonna take our normal barrel and we are gonna cut right around inside of this to remove the entire upper portion. So, that being said, we are going to use the Sawzall. All right, now we've got the lid cut out. The closer you get to the edge, the better. I got a little bit left here, but not much. This is really, really thick material, and this is really sturdy, great for our project. So uh, make sure there's nothing yucca in there, a little frozen water. Ready to go. This is a hole saw. See those teeth? We are gonna make one of these. Spacing is approximate. We're gonna go all the way around with it, keeping it about the same distance, one hole with the space in between. All right, so we got our holes all the way around. Uh, the spacing really doesn't matter a whole lot, but we're gonna use what we've removed as the basis of our saw teeth. Alright, so now we've got our teeth cut into the top of the barrel. This edge is the thickest part of the plastic. And the basis of our saw is ready to go. Now we need something to hold on to while we spin this thing to dig. And we also need a way to see what we're doing. So we're gonna drill some holes around the outer edge that will give us something to hold on to. And we're going to cut the middle out so that we can see what we're doing. Once again, spacing is not that important. We're just trying to make some features here. All right, we've got a barrel. We've got the teeth cut in one end. We've got some holes around the outer diameter of the other side and a, a hole in the middle so we can see the snow we're digging through. I'm gonna use my hands here on the outer edge. Give it a good spin and push it forward into the snow.
argument that this is a little bit tricky. It's pretty tight here. All right, initial impressions. This is hard work, but it's working great. These offer enough grip to twist, but being in the tunnel in a confined space, it's still pretty tough to do. Nonetheless, working out to be a pretty good tunnel. So I feel like what we need is the ability to get in here and spin this with a better grip. So I've got a doorknob from a screen door and we're gonna install it kind of like one of those steering wheel knobs and see if that'll help us out a bit. All right, so this thing spins. I'm gonna see if that affords us the opportunity to get in there better. This is called revising on the fly. This is remarkably difficult to film. All right, knob, longer bolt. Let's see if this works better. Oh man, that's a ticket. Let's see if we can get this. This knob is making this way better. You can really get this sucker going. Make your way through some snow. Come in here, nice edge. Break big chunks off. Seems like the powder just falls into the barrel in the hard pack snow. Smaller pile at first. Seems to break off in chunks. Making such an absolutely perfectly circular tunnel. <laughs> All right. So sometimes your project has to evolve a little bit, but boy. <laughs> When you get going, you can really dig with this thing. So we love hearing about your ideas. So obviously this isn't the end of this project. This thing is gonna get better, but we want to share because the whole purpose of this channel, I got a monkey on my back, is to inspire each other. So as you come up with improvements, share them. Until next time, let's go. Bye. <laughs> so sometimes, you have to learn a little bit as you try to figure something out. So the knob allows us to spin it super fast, super, super fast, exactly. Hmm, good idea. Everybody knows what this is. Regular cat. We're gonna create the saw teeth by can't move it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. That's all right, buddy. Okay. Yeah, try not to touch it, okay? Well, that's just part of filming. That's all. And now. Yep. Go for it. Okay.
Sorry. Is it still in, in shot? Is it still in the middle of the view? Okay. You gonna know, roll that thing right through the the poo playground? There's so much dog poo out here as the snow melts. 